What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you four secret ways that I use to find profitable affiliate marketing niches. Now, I do understand that when it comes to affiliate marketing, especially if you are a complete beginner, it can be difficult to try and figure out where you should start. The biggest mistake that people make is they go for the niches and they promote the products that everybody else is promoting and they find it very difficult to make money in those niches. So I do understand that it can be difficult. Where do you start? What product do you promote and stuff like that? So in this video, I wanna show you these four ways that you can go and use to make money with affiliate marketing and find niches with these specific methods. Now I do use other ways as well. I have videos of that on my YouTube channel, but these are four quick ways that you could use right now to go and find profitable niches. Now, if you want more videos every single week on how to make money with affiliate marketing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we are still doing the giveaway in this video. What you've got to do is find the emoji in this video, smash that like button, and then down below, let me know what that emoji is, and we will pick a winner in the next video. So let's jump into this video, guys, and I will show you these four methods that you could use to go and find profitable niches with affiliate marketing. All right, guys, so before we get into this, there's one thing that we need to remember. There's always um, a way to make money in any niche. So for example, this website here called sharersale.com, they do affiliate marketing um, for hundreds and thousands of different products, over 16,000 different merchants in every type of niche, right? And then you've got Amazon, you can become uh, Amazon Associates, you can become a affiliate marketing partner for Amazon, and you can get paid a commission for promoting any type of Amazon product. And then we also have ClickBank, which is like selling courses, softwares, and things like that. So there's all sorts of different um, ways you can make money in different types of niches. So like I said, share a sale, Amazon Associates, ClickBank, just to name a few, you could literally find any type of um, product on here, on these three websites here to promote in any type of niche. Now, the first way that I would go and find niches um, if I was trying to do affiliate marketing is doing it based on something you enjoy. And now let me show you an example here. So this is someone that I fly with um, in Flight Simulator quite often. I join his streams and I fly with him and his uh, friends. Now, he's doing something he enjoys, right? Now, you don't have to do a YouTube channel or anything like that. But if you see down here in the description, these are called affiliate links and they go to Amazon. So he does these live streams, he gets quite a few views and then people go down and click on these links and he will get a commission when people purchase through these links, okay? But you probably didn't realize you could make money by being a flight simulator gamer, right? Or for or another example, this guy here in the fishing niche, he is um, an Amazon affiliate link right here. So if I click on this, it goes through and it's the um, GoPro that he records with. So he would get a commission if someone purchased this specific product. So you, so the first tip is just do affiliate marketing on something you enjoy, whether it's starting a blog or starting a YouTube channel, you'll probably make a lot less than the most popular niches, but because you enjoy it more, um, it just is more enjoyable. So that's the first kind of tip is to go out and just do um, content and be an affiliate marketer in a niche that you actually enjoy. So like a hobby, like fishing, soccer, anything like that, right? And go and do a YouTube channel or a blog. Now, a great way to go and discover kind of another way to discover kind of stuff that you are interested in or could be interested in is to go to a website called discoverahobby.com. Now on discover a hobby, you can go down and you can explore all types of hobbies. Okay, so if we click on sports and outdoors, there's all of these hobbies that you could essentially jump into. We've got bodybuilding, badminton, bowling. Now you don't have to be uh, involved in these hobbies. This is separate to what I was talking about before, but this gives you an idea of the type of things that people are interested in doing. And you might be thinking, oh, well, you know, fly fishing, it's not a very popular niche and stuff like that, but you can get um, commissions from Amazon promoting fly fishing rods, promoting fly fishing tackle boxes, fly fishing vest. You can even find fishing partners on this particular platform as well. Now, the next secret way that I use a lot is called flipper.com. And the reason why is you can go to browse websites. Actually, if you go to the website section and click on content, that's usually what I do. It shows you the websites based on how they're monetized. So this website's monetized by AdSense, 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 and then Amazon, and then AdSense, and then 
uh, AdSense, and then we have some more Amazon, ClickBank. Now, this is a great way to find websites that are already making a bunch of money in affiliate marketing. So it gives you an idea, it gives you a stepping stone to get started. This one here, they're making $7,000 per month and they want uh, 220,000. So I'm not gonna say go and copy these websites, it's not what I'm trying to tell you to do, but you can reverse engineer them, you can kind of see where they're making their money from, what type of products they are making their money from and things like that, okay? You'd obviously have to sign up to um, Flipper, I'm not signed into my account, but this is a classic example of an affiliate marketing website that's making good money and we could go reverse engineer this website. It gives us some good ideas. Now, if we go back, we also have an Amazon one here, productcomparison.co. They want $17,000 for this. Now, this is making around about $500 per month. So we do know that this is making money. So we could either maybe buy this website if we wanted to, but I wouldn't recommend it because you could easily start a similar one for this a lot cheaper. But you could go and essentially figure out, go to this website, you can see what they're kind of selling. So they're obviously in the kind of like projector niche, cooking niche, they're in kind of like the mix niche here, they're doing all sorts of stuff. But you can go and see what they're actually uh, selling to make that $500 per month from Amazon. Uh, and you scroll down here, and there's more like Amazon, Amazon, AdSense, Amazon. Amazon is quite, see this one here, $1,300 per month in the cat niche. This one here, $200 per month in the bubbles niche, I guess. Um, another ClickBank one is making $7,000 per month, selling for $350,000 in the dating niche. So you kind of get the idea. You you're like come here every single week if you're looking for like an affiliate marketing niche to get into and just scroll through and see what is working in the industries at the moment because we can see exactly what they're earning. That's the key here. We can see exactly what these websites are earning. So Amazon, $900 a month. Amazon, $300 a month. Uh, Amazon, ah, uh, sorry, AdSense, that's AdSense. Um, Amazon, $500 per month. Now, Cura is another website that you can go to. If you click on this little tab up here on Spaces, and what this kind of does, it doesn't really, um, it's not, uh, and then go to see all spaces. It's not really like, hey, these are the types of niches you can get into. But what it does is it actually gives you ideas to kind of start thinking about other things as well. So if we scroll down, these are kind of like Facebook groups, but they're called Cura Spaces. But if we scroll down, we've got fishing. So fish keeping, that's a great niche you could get into, right? Uh, a lot of these ones here kind of probably not really, or oh, fish tanks maybe. But there's all these kind of categories that you could jump into, okay? Um, a lot of sports stuff, meme stuff, uh, cameras, so photography and things like that. So digital marketing, sales funnels. I'm an affiliate marketing in the sales funnels industry. Web hosting, I'm an affiliate marketer in the web hosting industry as well. It's one of my, these are my two main kind of things is sales funnels and web hosting. We scroll down, we have gaming, we have all sorts of stuff, right? And you can click view more. So actually, if we go to the fishing one, for example, because it's kind of more general, we go to view more, reptiles, um, and that's really it there. But like I said, spaces are a really good place to go and find interests, niches, and things like that that you could potentially become an affiliate in. Now, there's a couple ways to do affiliate marketing, guys. I do have some videos in the description, but the main ways are going to be doing a blog of some sort, okay, or website or doing a YouTube channel of some sort. Now the next way it kind of goes hand in hand with general uh, affiliate marketing research and that's called using a software or something similar to this called Ubersuggest. And what you can do is you can do a lot of research on specific websites. So what you could do is you could go back to Flipper and you could find these specific websites that you could be interested in or you could just go and look at other affiliate marketing websites in a niche that you're interested in or just affiliate marketing sites in general. I took this one here, which was Healthy Kitchen 101, and they do a, uh, Amazon affiliates for like uh, grilling, kitchenware, all sorts of things. I put it into this tool, uh, Healthy Kitchen, and I clicked on top pages by traffic. And it actually tells me what are the, what what are their top, their top pages by traffic. So these are the top pages that are getting the most traffic. So we've got kitchen um, faucets, we've got kitchen knives, we've got um, microwave ovens, we've got water filters, we've got food processors and blenders, we've got water softeners, best range hoods, best garbage disposals. 
So even though generally this website is based on kitchens in general, we have, um, for example, the seven best range hoods gets quite a lot of traffic. You could go do an entire website based on range hoods. You might not think you could, but you actually can. You can do the seven best range hoods, seven best range hoods, hoods on a budget, 10 best range hoods for under $100, uh, sorry, $1,000 probably, um, you know, five best range hoods between $500 to $600. There's all of these different types of topics you could do based off what we see here. We know that this website is getting traffic. We can also do keywords by traffic, and we know exactly what keywords are getting in the most traffic. Now you will have to upgrade if you want to do the rest, I guess, but you can actually see kind of what keywords, so kitchen sink faucet, best food processor, best toaster oven, best toaster ovens, best micro built to microwaves. But this is another way that you can actually go and find affiliate marketing niches and it works hand in hand with your research and kind of some of these other ones. So number one is do something uh, do something you're passionate about and then become an affiliate marketer in that by promoting products, okay? It could be on a blog or a YouTube channel. And you could go to discoverhobby.com to find specific hobbies and interests uh, that people are interested in. You can also go to flipper.com and you could find websites that are already making money, already proven to work and see what kind of niches they're into. You could also go to Cura Spaces where you can find interests and hobbies and things as well and see like idea, I think the fishing one is a great example because um, even though it's not really fishing, it's got like, um, you know, fish keeping and, and fish tanks. Great little like micro niches that you could get into. And then you could also use ubersuggest.com to reverse engineer specific websites to find out what's working for them and where they're getting their traffic and money. All right, guys, that's four quick, simple, secret ways you can go and do affiliate marketing research to find some of the best niches that you could go and make money in online. If you want more videos, I'll leave them up on the screen right now, completely free for you to watch. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, tap that notification bell, and I'll see you on one of the videos on the right.